Hi, this is Tom. Uh, I have a digital scale that I dropped on the floor actually several times. And this last time, when I turned it on, it would just say error. I tried all kinds of things. I disconnected the battery, so on and so forth. It would not, um, it won't heal, so to speak. So I took it apart. There were basically little rubber feet that I pried off on the bottom, hidden screws under it. The one thing that I was not smart enough to figure out is the scale part just spins off. So let's get my junk out here. These are battery doors. So basically the way this thing works, or at least the way I think it works, it's got a little metal beam here. You can see it's got a couple of holes drilled in there. I think it's just to make it weaker so it bends. Most likely there's a strain gauge mounted under here. So when the weights on this little beam. It's hard mounted back here. It just flexes a little bit. Strain gauge measures very small amounts of uh, flex. And then this board's got a circuit board for the strain gauge. Basically figures out how much the thing weighs. So I suspect what happens when I dropped it, it landed on the top and permanently bent this bar a little bit. So when it first powers on, the strain gauge is probably supposed to be in a certain position and it's out of range and it's just saying I don't know what's going on so um, I also kinda hung this upside down so there was actually a net force or I held it like this so it's drooping and then it calibrates or it's in range so I know this or my strategy is I'm just gonna bend this up a little bit and uh, see if I can kind of bend it back into a range where the thing will will work again so I'm not sure how I want to do this right off I may take the string gauge piece off so I don't when I stick a screwdriver in there I don't bend um, you know or break the circuit board so I think I'm just gonna remove this oh there was another guy on YouTube that actually just flip this upside down which will sort of also work but I think my scale will always show everything's a negative weight if I do that it will probably work I'm just gonna try something different here so basically I have this out I'm just gonna stick a screwdriver down in here and kinda gently pry it sit it on here and turn it on see if it'll calibrate hey it worked that was real hard so instead of throwing away my scale um, <laughs> that was a pretty easy fix. I'm going to screw this back on and just see if it will work with this weight and I'm just going to loosely set this down there to see if it basically works so it looks like it zeroed boy that didn't work so well it's not weighing this. Let's see what else is going on maybe I need to kind of mount this let's try it again or let's just push on it yeah it looks like it's working so I'm gonna screw this off and mount this really quickly see if it works I suspect it will I can't imagine why it wouldn't so. turn it on uh oh, battery must have come out. Okay, turns on, read zero, calibrates. I put the screwdriver on there and it's not measuring it. So it may be way out of calibration. Maybe this is not going to work. It does weigh something. It should be able to pick this up though. Well, what I'm going to do is shut the video off, figure out what's going on, and then we'll uh, we'll resume. Okay, so I'm back. I think what happened is I bent this too much because it will work with a lot of weight on it. It will zero and weigh very small objects. So I'm just going to bend this thing back. I'm not sure if I can do it with my hands. 
try it. We'll see if it'll zero. in way with something very small. So let's try it again. Screw this on. Tell it to zero. It zeroed. Well, that looks more like it. It weighed something very small. Let's see if it um, pick up this bottle cap with a few screws. It said four grams. So what I need to do is make sure this is weighing properly now. So I'm probably going to have to get something of very precise known weight and stick it on here and make sure it works. Okay, so I was concerned that after all this bending of that basically strain bar that the scale would be out of uh, cow. So I zeroed it. Nickels are five grams a piece. So I'm going to stack several nickels on here. The first one says five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and thirty. So you can see that um, the thing's in pretty good cow, despite me bending everything. I just wait, use this to weigh food. I usually it's nothing super accurate. Went back to zero, so everything appears to be fine. Hopefully, uh, if yours quits working, you can use a similar technique to get it going again. Thanks.